Good morning, viewers. Welcome to Command Your Morning Show. My name is Pastor Steve Omala from Fem Family Church Karen. I led the leadership of Reverend Teresia Wairimu. It's an honor and a blessing to come and speak to our hearts this morning. I'm going to speak to us a message when favor locates you, when favor locates you. And we will read in the book of 2 Samuel chapter number 9. Because of time, I'll just read the first verse, but we'll go through the, I will just be mentioning from verses 1 to 13. We'll go through verses 1 to 19, but I'll just read verses 1 for the sake of time. When favor locates you. So, uh, verses 1 says, And David said, Is there yet anyone that is left of the house of Saul, that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? That I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake. Kindness speaks of goodwill. It speaks of benevolence. It's a temper, a temper of disposition which delights in contributing to the happiness of others. And this is exercised by cheerfully gratifying their wishes. That is what David was longing to do for the house of Jonathan. And this morning, as I speak to us, I want to remind us that our God is a covenant-keeping God. He's a, cover, uh, he's a God who keeps his covenant of blessings to the thousands of them that fear him. He is dependable, he's, he's firm like a rock. If David will honor his part of the bargain and remember his covenant friend Jonathan, then God is much more. God is much more dependable. He is the same yesterday, he is the same today, he is the same forever. So this morning, I want to encourage you not to give up on God. Let your heart remain steadfast. Let your heart remain committed towards God. And generations after you will benefit from the blessings. The great men of God like Jonathan Edwards who lived in the 15th century and they did a lot for God. And it said many years later when they traced his generations and another man during his time who didn't, didn't believe in God. The generations of Jonathan Edwards became great men in America. They became vice presidents, senators, lawyers, and doctors. But the other man who had no regard for God, and he said that his generations brought more pain, more expenses to the nation than any other. Their, 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 their losses, their, uh, their baggages, their liability was more outweighing their benefits. They were the drug dealers of that time the prostitutes of that time, the criminals of that time, most of them ended in prisons and, 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 and in, in crime because their grandfather never honored God. So when you honor God, then the generations after you will benefit from that. Today we are living in a time in this nation when people are turning to strange gods, people are turning to witches, people are turning to ancestral gods and spirits. But I choose like Joshua, that as for me, and my house, I shall serve the Lord. David asked a question. Is there yet someone left from the house of Jonathan that I may show him kindness? God is looking for a man this morning that he may show his covenant. God is remembering someone today and his favor shall locate you. The Bible says when the children of Israel cried unto God, the word of God says that they found favor before God and he remembered his covenant and his promises with his servant Abraham. Our God keeps his word. You might be at a point and a place where you're wondering, God, are you really there? Are you really remembering my cry? I want to assure you this morning that God is true to his word. The Bible says in Psalms 89 that his word, my covenant, cannot be broken, not the things that I've, I've altered out of my mouth be annulled. The word of God can never be broken. So this morning, the favor of God shall locate you. David, when he inquired of the house of Saul, the servant Ziba, in his verses, he says, yes, there is a man, a son of Jonathan, who is called Mephibosheth. But he is lame in his feet. Why was he saying lame? In other words, he was saying, yes, there is one. But he does not qualify. 
He is imperfect. He is not satisfactory. And this day I want to say to somebody that the God of nobodies is about to locate you with his favor. Human beings might have written you off. Human beings might have thought you don't deserve to be blessed. But God this morning by his favor is about to locate you. Do you know that in the book of Leviticus 21 from verses 17 to 23, according to the Levitical laws, a lame person was not even qualified to offer sacrifices. The Bible says in Proverbs 26 verse 7, at like the useless legs of one who is lame is a proverb in the mouth of a fool. So Ziba was telling David that Mephibosheth is not good. He is completely useless. Let me say this to somebody, that this morning I am speaking prophetically to you, that you might have been written off, but this is your set time of favor. The set time to favor you has come. The favor of God will locate you. God will remember you this morning and show you his kindness. People will be wondering, how did you get that job? People will be wondering, how did you get that promotion? People will be wondering, how did you get married? We had written you off. Why? Because God is about to remember you and show you his kindness. His favor shall locate you. So Ziba is asked, although he disqualifies Mephibosheth, he is asked, where is he? Today there is a command from the throne of heaven. And God is looking for you that he may show you favor, that he may show you kindness. Mephibosheth was in the land of Lodiba, a place of no pasture, a place of wilderness. I want to speak to someone today. You might, have been, you might be in a place where you have been abandoned. You might be in a place where you have been forsaken. You have been wounded and disappointed. But I want you to know one thing. Even if people have written you off, even if people have said it is over and concluded on your case, the favor of God this morning shall locate you. And what is it that happens to a man when the favor of God locates them? This is what happens to Mephibosheth when the favor of a man located him. The favor of David located him. But for you, this shall be your story when the favor of God locates you. There was restoration in the life of Mephibosheth. Everything, the estates, the lands that belonged to his great, uh, to his grandfather's soul was restored back to him. This morning, I announced to someone that as the favor of God locates you, every door that was meant for you, that has been shut, shall be reopened as God brings restoration. Every opportunity, I declare to you prophetically, every opportunity that was destined for you, that never got to you in the first place, is being restored this morning. I want to announce to you that as God restores you, every promise that you had been earmarked for by heaven and you never embraced is being restored back to you. It is coming your way. God shall restore unto someone this morning wasted years, wasted opportunities. Those that were ordained for you that you never walked into is coming back to you. By God's grace, lost goods and waste opportunities over the years are finding their way back to your life. I want to announce to somebody that your best days are not past. Your best days are yet to come. Because as the favor of God locates you, then your best days shall come to you. The second thing we see happening to Mephibosheth is that in verse 7, David declares that he shall eat at my table continually. In other words, there was divine supply. David told Mephibosheth that at all times, for the rest of your life, you will sit at my table. I want to announce to someone this morning that as the favor of the Almighty God locates your life, you will experience an ending victories. You will experience an ending success where you have failed in the past. Get ready to enjoy supernatural favor that brings effortless triumph 
in every area of your life. There is somebody you have struggled all your life. You have never known what it means to enjoy the fruits of your labor. As the favor of God locates you, you will enjoy an ending victories. Where you have failed in the past, get ready to enjoy success. The Bible says in Isaiah 55 verses 2, that come by without money. Without money means minus your effort. It means there will be no toil. There will be no struggle. As the favor of God locates you, you will enjoy victories where you have struggled in the past, where you have labored and not seen results. You shall see the favor of the Almighty God. And then the next thing that happens is that he was given the privilege to sit at the king's table as one of the king's son. Matthew said, though a seed of Saul, an enemy of David, was honored and given the privilege of sitting at the king's table. What will happen to you in this season is that you shall be honored. Your status is about to change. You know, in verses 8, when David gives Mephibosheth this privilege, he asks this, what is your servant that you should look upon a dead dog such as I am? In the, in the Hebrew tradition, a dog was someone unworthy or despised, someone of low class. That is what Mephibosheth was saying. He was saying, why would you recognize someone like me? But I'm saying this to someone this morning. God is bringing you to a place of honor. There is an error under the sun. As the Bible says in Ecclesiastes 10, 5 to 9, an evil under the sun, folly is set in places of dignity, yet great men sit in no places. Servants riding horses while, while sons or king princes are walking on earth. Today, as a child of the Most High God, as a royal priesthood, as the sons of the Almighty God, we are being restored to our place of honor, to our place of royalty. The earth is your father's and the fullness thereof. So therefore, the Lord God of Almighty is going to lift you as a believer, as a child of the Most High God, where you have been viewed as a less than, where you have been, where you have been viewed as someone who cannot amount to anything. God is about to lift and honor you, child of God. The systems of this world have created an image whereby church people look as weak, powerless, and irrelevant, with no meaningful role to play in society. But that is about to change. We, are, we have been told that as a church, we cannot speak, we are not a voice, we shut up. A time has come for us to arise and shine because our light has come. As darkness covers the earth and gross darkness the people, the glory of the Lord shall rise upon us and the Gentiles and kings shall come to the brightness of our rising. God is restoring us as his church to our rightful place and position as sons of the kingdom. I believe that the best movers, the best shakers of our time will arise from the church. In times of crisis, as the favor of God locates us, just like Joseph in a time of famine, God is about to raise somebody in this nation. Just like Daniel was exemplary and outstanding in the, in the Babylonian kingdom, you will, somebody is about to rise in this season and offer solutions to the nations. Forget the former things. Forget the pains of your past. Let your mind be renewed and enter into that new place that God is ushering you into. This morning, may the favor of God locate you. May the favor of God locate you where you are. And may your status be changed. May your name be changed this morning. May God restore unto you the wasted years. May you experience restoration. And may the favor of God locate you. And may God Almighty change your name and your identity from a beggar to one who is a blessing to others, from a place where men run to you because of your problems, to one whom is honored just like the best. May God turn around your pain and your sorrows this morning, and may your life 
the story of honor and the goodness of God as the grace and favor of the Almighty God locates your life. Let us just pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you this morning for your word on favor locating us. I pray that favor will locate somebody who is listening this morning. I pray that somebody who is trusting you for wasted years, for what was meant for them that was taken, for those that have been shot, may your favor locate them. I pray that favor locates somebody this morning that they will get a promotion. I pray that favor will locate somebody this morning that they will get a miracle job. I pray that favor locates somebody this morning that they will get married in the name of Jesus. I pray that favor shall locate somebody this morning that God wasted years, wasted opportunities. Those that were ordained for them shall be restored in the name of Jesus. I pray that favor shall locate somebody this morning that their status will change for the glory, honor, and the praise of your name. Make your goodness abound to your people and let them testify that indeed the set time of favor has come. Shalom and the Lord bless you and do you good in Jesus' name. Amen.